Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have created an API in our Node.js project that is registration API through which a user can register himself in our MongoDB database. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a Flutter app through which a user can register himself by using Flutter app. Okay, so I have already created a UI design for this that is a login and registration page. You can see over here. Okay, so you can just get this source code from my GitHub repository. I will just share it in my description. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to connect our Flutter project to our Node.js backend and get completed with the registration part. So the user will be able to enter his email and password and register himself in our database. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so before getting started, let me explain you what all been done in the UI part. Okay, so over here, I have created four files that is app logo, login page, main.dart and registration okay so in main dot dot i am just simply calling a login page so whenever our app launches the login page will get shown to the user okay and here i have created a app logo that is the common widget that is stateless widget so that uh, i can just import this uh, common logo and show it in our login and registration page as you can see over here so this is the logo being shown on both the pages okay so let's go to uh, registration page okay so in registration page i have two text fields that is email and password okay you can see email and password the user can enter and there is a button over here okay so let me tell you that i'm making use of velocity x for the ui purpose okay uh, so there is a button so when now whenever this button is been pressed i want to register the user in our database okay so here i have already attached a controller for both the text fields so for that i have created a text editing controller over here from which i can get email and uh, password text that is been entered by a user okay and then here yeah and here i have just attached a a variable that is uh, if the user has entered any data in this text field or no and depending on that we can just show a proper message to the user okay okay now all i need to do is uh, whenever the user press on this registration button i need to get the data from this uh, text fields and send it to our backend so for that we need to create a function so let's get started from here okay so here i will just create a function void register user i can give any name okay so this function will be of type async because we are going to make a use of internet calls so it may require some time okay and now first of all we need to check if a user has entered any data in this text fields or no okay so for that here let me add a if condition if email controller dot text dot is not empty and password controller dot text dot is not empty so if it is not empty then we are going to send this data to our front end and if it is empty we are going to show a error message to a user okay so over here let's make use of set state method function and here i have a variable by name is not valid and here we need to just set it to true if it is not valid okay so let me hot refresh okay so you can see i have a device been connected over here and it has been connected to a usb and i can just say see my screen on my uh, laptop okay okay so i will just uh, keep it empty and just submit it and let's check if any there is any update okay so i just forgot to call this function when the button is been pressed so uh, there was no response from the ui okay so when this registration button is been pressed i want to call the above function okay so get register user okay so let me hot refresh now and allow let's check what happens let's go to registration page okay so i will just keep it empty and just submit you can see there is a validation been done now 
so now here inside this we need to make a http uh, post request so for that we need to install http library so just go to pubspecification.yaml file and under dependency section over here just add this library and hit this pubget button okay and then come to main.dat page so uh, the registration page and over here import the package so here http.dat as http okay so now let's make a internet calls to our backend api okay so here first of all we need to create an object that we need to send to our backend so let's go to our backend and check so you can see we need a email and password to be sent to our backend from our front end so let's create an object for this that will be sent in a request body okay so over here variable register body so i can just name it anything okay so i'll just create an object of it which will, which will be of type json so here email address first key is email address and the data will come from the text field that the user has entered and then the second uh, key will be password and the data will come from the text field password okay so from this we will just get the username uh, email address and password from our text field okay so we have created an object so now by making use of http post request we need to send this body to our backend over here okay so let's do it now so for that here uh, let's create a variable response is equal to await http dot post request and here will come our local host ip address so let's do it afterwards okay so here uri dot parse okay So here inside body we need to send this request body object okay so for that we need to encode it in our json format okay and here we need to define which type of content type we are going to pass whether it is a json or it is a text so in our case it is completely a json format so we need to define it in our header tag okay so now this function will automatically make a call to our backend and will give a response that we sent from our backend okay so you can see after successfully registering the user we get a response as success true and message as user register successfully okay so we need to handle it in our back front end okay so before doing that let's check if this is working or no so i will just print the response over here so here i need to replace my url that is our localhost url so as we are going to make use of my mobile device i need to get the ip address of my system and use our backend okay so for that uh, just open command prompt and just enter over here ip at config okay so you can see you will get your uh, localhost ip address that you can access outside your uh, computer okay so here let's create uh, another configuration file where i'm going to define my uh, urls okay so here final url is equal to my url http IP address and our backend will be running on 3000 port. So let's define that also. Okay, and here let's uh, create one more variable. So let's name it as registration. And here URL plus registration API key. 
route route name so let's get the route name from my backend okay so this one okay okay so now to use this configuration file all you need to do is you just need to import it over here so import config.dart and by doing this you can just indirectly use this uh, register registration url okay so in this registration url we have the ip address path of our backend so ip address 3000 port and this is our api name route name okay uh, so let's hot refresh and check our app I'm just going to sign in page and I'm just entering some data over here. So email address. So password one two three. Okay. So now I will just hit the registration page and let's check. Okay. So now if I go to my MongoDB database and refresh. Okay. Nothing is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just forgot to run my backend. Okay. So npm run div. Okay. Now let's check by clicking on the registration page. Okay. So I have done that. Hope the uh, hope it got registered. Yeah. So you can see it got registered. Okay, so now I need to handle the response that comes from our uh, back end to our front end. So you can see, I think so we also got the response over here. So it must be there somewhere over here, but I'm not able to find it. Yeah, so it's okay. So let's check once again. So app is got restarted. Okay, so you can see the response is of type it is showing just printing uh, instance of response. Okay, so I already know that what kind of response I get from the back end. You can see this is the response that I get from the back end. We have status as true. Okay, so let's use it over here. Okay, and then here I need to decode it. So JSON response is equal to response. So this response I need to decode it in JSON format. Okay, so JSON decode and let's pass the response over here. Okay, yeah, so hot refresh again. So now let's check what response I get over here. Okay. So now let's check okay register okay so you can see we got a response as true in this success key okay so then depending on this variable we need to navigate the user back to our login screen okay so here if let's make use of if condition so if json response of status was successful then we need to uh, navigate the user to uh, login page and else we can just print a message to a user okay so to navigate the user we will make use of navigator so i already have a code over here okay so just copy this and let's paste it over here so if it is true then we are going to navigate the user to a login page okay so hot refresh Okay. So ESTING testing two.
okay so i'm just pressing on the login page registration uh, button over here so you can see i got immediately registered in my database and i am in uh, login page now okay so let me refresh okay so you can see our uh, user got registered in our database okay so that's also this video tutorial so in our in, uh, next part we are going to create a login api in our back end and then we are going to implement the same in our front end for a full app okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you